okay guys today i'm going to show you how to do dls or should i say first touch um obb file and application file so first you need app editor and also zrt word if you want you can just only view the obb files you can't really edit them except you have a system because editing obb files is not something you can do on an android phone like you can just view them with zrt word and see what they actually look like like I'm gonna to go to models I changed the ball into the ones I like or into the current ones change the kit myself I I just did some few changes I didn't really did much in the OEB file and I said and it works perfectly fine same here with the Dream League 18 I only just edited the application because there is not much you can edit here. You can, you can just see what is just here. It's not much. It's just, it's just one thing I don't even understand. Okay, we're going to the application side, which is App Editor, and let's go to Select App. I'm gonna show you what I did in my Dream League 18. Simple edit. Let's go to Asset Data. Let's go to F E, yeah, you can see league, you can see loading. I didn't change anything from there. Then I went to teams. What I saw here was only just the international teams. I never saw the club teams, which is very very annoying. Now I see why hackers can change their original kits and logo. Then I just changed the league, just some, you know, few modification. Then installed it changed some images and change of course the music this this were dream league 18 music but i dated it to the 19 because unfortunately for me the 19 refused to play my phone for some reason i don't know why okay i'm going to show you fts where most of my work has been done like i changed the background image i don't really change the audios i still like the audios the way they are Let's go to asset data. Just see, it's really, really easy. You can just replace this with what you want. You can just see how easy it is. You can change it. The color selector, the FTS logo, league, panels, stadiums, UI. There's the background I put. These are the background. Then the balls and the lesson. So I'm gonna show you the FTS. Yeah, sorry for the noise. Family quite annoying. Okay. Yeah, we can see the picture showing. It's the picture I want. PES, the power of football, PES 2019 Pro Evolution Soccer. I really like the game, the game is. Wow. How about reduce it a little bit? Then let's go to custom data. You can just see I I quite updated it myself. I didn't have to already download another FTS game for the update. Right, let's go to Africa. Let's go to Nigeria, as you can see what I've done. Just did some, you know, modification to make sure you're just looking quite on track. Just have to update the key. Sometimes you don't really do that. Sometimes you just have to do it yourself. And my background is working very well. It. Game modes, the pitch, everything is just great. Like I'm just testing the game out to see what I've really done. It's great. You can see the crowds. It looks really great. And FTS cutscenes are really good and their goals are really great. I love this game. It's just I don't know why First Touch just refused to, you know, update the game and make the game look better with you know DLS models. I don't know why they didn't do it. Uh. 
okay here you can see the ball and the players and their faces it's really really cool so thank you for that watching my video please like and subscribe peace out